Hey, we are moving into the first lesson of health and performance and the impact that just day-to-day -day wellness and just organizing our lives as the foundations of performance can have on just making us better athletes, making us better coaches, and just overall more productive on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, I want to start this conversation by readdressing our athlete development pyramid. You know, we really think about athlete development and progression throughout a career in a very holistic approach. Okay, so it's not just the physical side and it's not just on the field or on the court. Everything lumps in together. Okay, so basically in our pyramid here, we have to first start with the mindset uh, that we're going to improve. We're going to have a positive attitude about entering into the process of growth. We call that a championship mindset. Then we have uh, the different elements of health and wellness. And essentially that is the foundation of the higher order concepts that come next, which are the physical. Think about maturing, developing physically. That is often thought of as the weight room, but it can also be on the field. Technical and tactical oftentimes work and operate together where the technical side is your skill development of your sport and your tactical development would be the X's and O's, the scheme, the concepts around spacing, working against an opponent, your overall scheme to be successful. The mental block has to do with being able to successfully complete a task, clear it, be able to move on, or having an unsuccessful attempt and being able to clear that and move on. The many mental concepts that our performance psychology unit talk about. And then at the very end, what we're trying to achieve is high performance. High, high performance is essentially the successful and consistent execution of the task. So if I'm a position player, I'm successfully and consistently executing what I'm supposed to do over time. Okay, So that's what we're chasing. For this, we want to really focus on the very bottom of the pyramid, and we call this the health and wellness block. We think about the health and wellness block as the foundation of the higher order skills that stack on top of this foundation is because if something is going on in terms of my health or maybe hygiene or just the overall choices that I take and make throughout a day or a week, eventually it's going to catch up to me. Okay. So an example would be, um, let's say I am an athlete that, uh, you know, seldomly cleans my locker, you know, maybe my, my room, maybe out of order, maybe I'm just not at, at, uh, paying that much attention to overall hygiene and cleanliness around maybe even food preparation, okay? This may be fine. I, I may go a long period of time without any issue, but eventually it's going to catch up to me and I may become sick. I may become lethargic or tired and basically what that's going to do is prevent me from tapping into the things right on top of my health and wellness block. That could be opportunities in the weight room to grow, technical and tactical, whether it's focus or skill acquisition. And then certainly it could cloud my judgment and having the ability to make a decision and, and be able to be mentally um, strong in the moment. Okay, so health and wellness, we think of as the foundation. And just like a foundation on a house, much like the foundation here we have, at the bottom, you see this brick picture. Okay, the foundation, the wider it is and the thicker it is, the more we can stack on top. Okay, so that's why we want to really double down on the simple things. We call it low-hanging fruit, washing our hands, keeping a clean bedroom, cleaning my locker room, turning my laundry loop in at night to ensure that everything is clean for the next day. These little things really add up, and it helps me keep my foundation really large. We're going to continue to go into this over the next couple um, opportunities of, of talking. But the biggest thing we want to think about here is that health and wellness is the foundation of high performance. Now, coming up right now, we have the opportunity to put this into action. Okay, We have flu shots across campus. Many different clinics occur at different local pharmacies as well that we can engage in this. Okay. It's, it's important to think about a flu shot as the foundation of performance too, because if I can get ahead of some sort of illness, I'm not going to have any setback in my training and I can continue to stack my blocks on top of the time. So let's think about the flu and especially the flu vaccination. Okay. So the CDC, the CDC is the organization that really works to um, study medicine, study healthcare practices to keep us safe and healthy. Hey, there's a 
this, this organization is really devoted to making us clean, making us safe, and just basically you know, healthier. Basically, the CDC is going to recommend that everybody, regardless of age or anybody over six months uh, of age, they're eligible for a flu shot. And basically, what this is going to allow us to do is to develop immunity. Okay, we, we're very familiar with some of the vaccinations around COVID-19. This is very similar. I'm developing immunity against exposure to a virus. Okay, within the flu, there's a lot of different types of strains of flu. Year to year, these change. And because of that, the flu vaccine is adjusted and changed. And essentially, the prescription is dialed into the exact strain or the strain that the CDC is most likely going to see that year. So we need to get the flu shot every single year. Okay. It's important for us to know, too, that when I get the shot, when I get a flu vaccine, um, it does not cause the flu at all. Okay. And then finally, you know, we, we are still ongoing. We, we're living with a, a global pandemic now with COVID-19. So we are still encouraging the COVID-19 shot. However, there's some uh, questions, maybe some concerns about, can I get the COVID shot and the flu shot at the same time? And the answer is absolutely yes. Many pharmacies, very well-respected pharmacies around the university, around the country, are actually giving both uh, the COVID-19 shot and the flu shot at the same opportunity. So it could be very efficient for us. But the bottom line is we want to think about uh, vaccination as prevention, getting ahead of things. Just like I was going to study for a test, I'm studying for a test way in advance of uh, the night before so I don't run into any problems the night before. Same thing here. If I can get the shot ahead of time, I'm going to work to reduce the risk, the likelihood of me getting the flu. And then it's going to make sure that I can be available for training, for practice, and for competition uh, down the road. So consider getting the flu shot. There's a bunch of different opportunities, some flu clinic, flu shot clinics that will be coming to campus here soon. Talk with your athletic trainer and your sports medicine liaison with your team, and they'll guide you into that post. But they're also available at other pharmacies in the area. If there's any information that uh, you want to continue to explore, we encourage you to check out the Penn State University Student Affairs site. If you take a, a picture of this QR code, it'll take you right to their flu education page. There's a lot of information talking about the flu, influenza, and also the flu shot here on the University Park campus, but also on all of our other campuses across the state. So if you're interested in learning more, please visit this site. In closing, the biggest thing we want to think about as we're going into this block, this unit of health and wellness, health and wellness is the foundation of performance. If I can strive to be healthy, if I can be physically fit, mentally and physically fit, I can really be in a good place to intentionally train the physical, the technical, the tactical, and the mental blocks of training. And that's essentially leading me to a period of high performance.